Today will be a very long day in office because my boss is over my shoulder. She is fuming because she has to present some data to management. Luckily for me, I know 10 tips and tricks that will help me with pivot tables. So let's start. This is the data, nothing fancy. I have created a pivot table with categories and sales. Now my boss doesn't believe me that the sales of snacks is so low, so she wants to see the data behind it. I thought about going back and filtering, but I just remember there is a smarter way. Just click here, double click, and you get a sheet with all the snacks data. You can do it for any combination you want. You can check the data and then right click, delete this sheet, come back to our pivot table. Now my boss doesn't want anybody to be able to do this. No problem, right click, pivot table options, data, you can remove, enable show details, gone. Now if I double click, I get an explosion, this is an error, I cannot check the data. The other thing that my boss wants to do, let me add the cities, she doesn't want to have bars first, she wants to have cookies. So I can just select cookies, click at the bottom of cookies and drag it, so that's one option we can do it. The second option, if I have crackers here, I want to have it as the first one, I can just type crackers, press enter, and for all of them, you'll have crackers as the first one. Apart from this, this table doesn't look nice. Let's remove the cities. We can change the design. So go to design, select another design, for example, this one, that's fine. Now the problem is my boss wants me to create new tables and I don't want to format the table every time. What I could do is right click here and set as default. Now for this workbook, anytime I create a new pivot table, it will take the design that I selected. And if you are fancy, you can create your own design and set it as default. Now other options related to design are about, for example, grand totals, subtotals, layout, etc. So let's assume that I turn off the grand totals and I want to have the same design for the future. So what I could do is go to file, more options, under options you have data, edit default layouts. Here I can select this pivot table and import this design. Once you do this, you can see you have off for rows and columns. So this is one thing that we have selected. You can play with the subtotals, the report layouts, etc. Now you can also reset everything to Excel default if you want. But let's assume that I'm happy with this. I can press OK. And now any new pivot table that I'm going to create in this workbook or another one, it won't have the grand totals. Next, let's add a little bit of color to this pivot table. It doesn't look nice. So I'm going to play with icons and bars. Let's go and add total sales USD two times. And let's call this one icons. This one we're going to call it bars. Double click here, double click here. Perfect. Now I have some icons that I got from a website. The link is in the description and I'm going to use them. How can I change this to icons? Well, the trick is not a complicated if formula or whatever it is. It is formatting. So select them, go to home. And here you have numbers, click on this arrow, custom, we are gonna put the condition in square brackets. So bigger or equal to 10,000. And here we are gonna select this icon or emoji, Control C, Control V, semicolon. The next condition is smaller than 10,000. And here we take the second one, which is the crying emoji. Put it here, that's it. You can change the numbers for the conditions. Press OK. There we go, we get those emojis. We can even come here and change the color. For the bars, it's also formatting. Select them, go to conditional formatting, and here you can do color scale, icon set, or data bars. I'm just gonna add the data bars, but I still have those annoying numbers. So what we are gonna do, is again go back to conditional formatting, manage rules, double click and select show bar only, press ok, press ok, 
there we go next trick is my boss wants to be able to filter this data by sales icons and bars but i don't have this here and if i click up and i go to data for example my filter is grayed out we don't want excel to hit us so here is a trick just come next to your table and the filter will magically appear click on it you can filter by icons numbers etc if you want to remove this filter same trick you click here remove the filter there we go number six my boss wants to see the data by months so i'm just gonna put the total sales here and let's add the order date in the rows now given the order date that i have here automatically excel is giving me years quarters etc what i could do is right click group and i have a lot of grouping options i want years and months press ok there we go now this is not the end of the trick because if you notice here there is something missing we have no sales in march and if somebody is looking at this table he or she will not notice so what do we do to add march let me show you just click on one of the months right click field settings and here you can click on layout and print show items with no data perfect this is March. now i got some junk here i can get rid of it click here remove the junk go down remove the junk it's done i want to put a zero here so let me right click pivot table options for empty cells show zero you can also put text whatever you want press ok this is much better next my boss wants to group the data by price so let me add first the unit price in the rows and here i'm gonna put the product so i have for example two products at 135 but this is very difficult to read you can see this kind of things so what can i do here i can right click group them and it has some suggestion what do i start at i end at and increments of 0.1 I'm just gonna do 0.2 press ok there we go now it's way easier to see and I can just select this insert I can add for example a chart there we go you can see the data in a chart it's much easier to see after that my boss wants to see the top three products in terms of sales so what I'm gonna do is right click here filter top 10 you're gonna tell me top 10 but you want top three well that's a fake you click on it you can select whatever you want top three items by sales perfect press ok there we go let's also sort them so to sort you can just right click here sort sort largest to smallest there we go my boss is crazy she had another idea she wants to group the healthy products together and the unhealthy ones together so let's try to do this obviously don't go back start adding data that doesn't make sense what you can do is just click on the first one press ctrl and select the healthy ones so i'm just gonna do it quickly right click again group they are grouped in group one click on group one we can call it boring because they are healthy let's create group two those are my three again press ctrl keep it press and select right click group and this group will be called fun press enter there we go you can see the sales by boring and fun and you can even remove the products and you get this pivot table the final tip and this is the most important one my boss wants to see a report by city now i only have four cities i can do it manually but imagine that you have 50 of them i don't want to spend the whole weekend doing reports so what I could do is add my city as a filter. I go to pivot table, analyze, pivot table, options, show report filter pages. I have city I selected, press OK. There we go. We get Boston, Los Angeles and so on.